So I went to Ulta and I got some tangs. Um, I also ordered from their online website and of course I will be linking everything down below, everything that I'm talking about and everything that I'm already wearing on my face. I already have my base done. It's looking pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. But yes, chapter three is out from REM Beauty. It came out a couple weeks ago. I was a bit late to the game. I wanted to see some reviews, but honestly, if you look up chapter three reviews, there's like two. I will leave a link or put up here the last video where I spoke about REM Beauty and just some of my thoughts. For this video, I'm going to go way more in depth because there are a couple things that I did not speak about in that last video. A couple things that are honestly really impressive and important to me as far as the brand goes is they are vegan, cruelty free, paraben free, and their packaging is recyclable. I think that's really awesome. Makeup and cosmetics and anything like body care contribute a lot of waste to the environment. So the unicartons are recyclable, uh, recycled materials wherever possible and recyclable materials for primary packages like PETG, PP, and glass. Um, I will be uh, doing a makeup look with everything that I'm talking about, but the, uh, what are these called? The matte liquid eyeshadows come in a glass packaging that I believe is recyclable. One thing to note, because I was wanting to return one of the items that I'm about to show you and demo for you. It says, um, purchases made on our website may be returned up to 30 days after confirmed delivery for a refund in the original form of payment. But here's the catch is they cannot refund the cost of shipping. You would have to pay to ship it back to them. And that's really unfortunate that you do have to do that. I'm going to go ahead and do an eye look with the matte liquid eyeshadows and I have the shades totes and BRV so this is what the unicarton looks like you have the little color indicator you can see the REM logo is raised and I actually really like the packaging I know a lot of people diss on the packaging uh, when they critique REM beauty in general but I did speak about this in my last video, but just to reiterate, when you get the packaging in person, it's nice. The matte liquid eyeshadows, they retail for $16 each. So the packaging is glass, it is recyclable. So compared to like the About Face ones, I think the About Face uh, liquid eyeshadows are also $16 each. I don't even have brushes to apply this with. Hold on. <laughs> no brush makeup challenge. So let me zoom you in. Let's get close up personal. So I did prime my eyelids already. And these are really pigmented. So I'm just going to put a tiniest little bit. And this is the shade BRB. These ones dry down like within 10 seconds. So you want to work with just a little bit at a time. Pros of this product, something that I like, it doesn't have any weird smell. Yeah, I like literally smells like nothing. Um, I like the colors, they last a long time. Like these are truly long lasting. I think it might say that on the website that they're waterproof. Cons to this product. I find that these are not the best to layer on top of one another. I just find that it gets like a little crusty. It's hard to describe. To make these work, small, thin layers, blend it immediately, don't wait. Okay, <laughs> so this is what I'm talking about when it comes to trying to layer and blend. There's a bit of product here that I want to blend, but it it's just not moving. Like, there's a little line of demarcation that I wish was more diffused. I just wish the formula um, didn't dry down so quickly and was more layerable. So this is the color BRB just by itself. And now just to show you 
how these layer. I'm going to take the shade Totes and I'm actually gonna put some on my hand instead of going in with the applicator. And I'm just gonna place this on the inner part of my lid. Oh, I'm getting scared. I'm getting scared. Oh, oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. So I don't know if you can tell, but there's just like a little bit of patchiness right here where I tried to bring in totes into BRB and it started to dry down. And the blend isn't even like it's not smooth like it turned out on this side. I personally would pass on these. And if you're looking for a liquid eyeshadow, get the about face ones. Honestly, I like how the eyes look other than a bit of the blending issue that I've already spoken about. I think it's really pretty. Um, and before I go on to all of the lip stuff, I'm going to show you um, the applicator. So, hey, lippies. The first thing I'm going to show you is the Essential Lip Oil. This retails for $16. I got this one at Ulta, and this is the shade Pick and Petals. I really like the packaging. So this is what the packaging looks like. Here's the logo. And this is a really cool applicator. I've never seen... Um, a lip product have this pointed and it has the metal ball. I I think this is really cool You can barely smell anything Ooh, <laughs> That is such an interesting feeling and again, this is the peach shade in the in the shade picking petals <laughs> And I don't really think it added color because I was wearing a tinted chapstick beneath this that I just took off. And this just looks like my regular natural lip color. So I think the color that you see is just like to differentiate the different scents, um, flavors. It doesn't taste like anything. These aren't flavored. It's not sticky. Ooh. Okay, I like this. I like the applicator. I think it's really innovative, the packaging, glass, like it has a good weight to it. So 10 out of 10, this is definitely a win for me. I'm gonna go ahead and take that off so I can do lip swatches, a little swashy poo of two of the On Your Collar Classic lipsticks. I got the shades Pucker Up and Cuddly, just like with the other packaging, it has the raised REM Beauty um, logo. Spoiler alert, these are my favorite out of everything that I have. The packaging for these is phenomenal. I think they killed it. Um, so this is what it looks like. What do you call that? The little like astronaut head that magnifies um, the color. So, and this is weighted, like this has a really nice weight. I, adore the packaging of this one so and this is a skinny lipstick like I I think it's so cool look at that luxury like I just think that adds so much also this is the best smelling lipstick I have ever encountered like this stuff is it smells like the MAC lipsticks, and I've talked about MAC lipstick smell. Like, you know if you've tried MAC lipsticks, that smells iconic. This smells like the MAC lipsticks, but better somehow. Like, they took that to the next level, and we all know how I feel about MAC, so. And then you can twist up like this, and they can twist down. Very important, because some products do not twist down. So this color is the shade Pucker Up. Like these are pigmented. And then this one, same thing, is the shade Cuddly. Mmm, okay. <laughs> that is just like sensory overload. Full pigment, like these are 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's just, they smell. And this. And yes, I've already done a wear test. Um, I wore the shade Pucker Up um, a couple of times and these wear really well. They don't fade off patchy or anything. So I'm gonna line my lips with About Face Paper Romance lip pencil. That is probably the worst lip line job I've ever had. Like disregard the unevenness and everything, but is that not like a beautiful color? These are a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend these. I love these. They are not a dry matte, uh, but they're not a glossy lipstick. They're just the perfect satin lipstick, super comfortable. It feels like you're putting on the sugar, the fresh sugar tinted lip balms, but they're thinner than those. And these just stay really well. Um, they are transfer proof, but like it basically looks the same. I've eaten with these on. Um, they don't bleed outside of the lip line. Like they are just mm, chef's kiss. If you're going to get anything, classic lipsticks. I'm going to put some more of that lip oil on because lip swatches are rough. Now I'm going to swatch the shade Pucker Up, but I'm going to line my lips with About Faced Smoking Room Lip Pencil. I love this color. This is like my perfect everyday color. Since I did put the lip oil beneath this, like it's not interfering with the texture. It's actually feels really nice, like really hydrated, but it's not making the lipstick or my lip liner like slip around or changing the texture in any weird way and before i move on to the liquid lipsticks these classic bullet lipsticks retail for 19 dollars each and lastly i'm going to be swatching the on your collar liquid lipsticks and i have the shade wifey and the shade hottie i bought wifey online and here's the thing, here's the thing, something ain't math in. The math does not add up. If you look online and look at the lip swatches that they did for this shade Wifey, what color is that? Because it's not this one. Like, can you seriously tell me? Like, no. No, you cannot tell me that this color, this color is the same color they have on the website. I think not. That's not what I wanted, but I'll swatch it for you anyway. Like, no, no, no. Out of any of the products, this one is overpriced to me, especially because it's not the glass packaging. The other ones that are in the glass packaging or the magnetized lipsticks, I think the price is right for that. This in the plastic packaging, and it is nice because it does sit flat. It has that flat side, so it won't roll off the counter or your desk or anything, but $19 is $19. As far as the formula goes, I actually really do like the formula. Um, I know I was just trashing on the color of this and everything, but the formula is really nice. It's not transfer proof. Like a little bit does come off when you are eating. It smells really good, just like the classic lipsticks, the same exact smell. It's really thin, like very watery kind of texture. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with the About Face Lip Pencil in Midnight Seduction. Let me show you the applicator because I didn't do that, did I? So this is what the applicator looked like. It actually really like it. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm. 
and like I said, they do retail for $19. If they were $16, I think that would be way more reasonable of a price. $19 does seem a bit steep. The formula is great on these. Like I said, they work well. Ugh. The lip products are my favorite. The liquid lipsticks, classic lipsticks. I really do like this lip oil. And these would pass on these. And the other two REM products that... I am wearing today um, the eyeliner. I just use it to uh, do the top line um, to make my lash line look thicker. It's a decent eyeliner. Would I repurchase? Probably not. And you can get more information about that in the other video that I did about Aryan Beauty. This highlighter is 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. So I think that's everything. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like reviews, if you like this video, please like it, subscribe, leave a comment. I would love to know your thoughts about REM Beauty, about the products, the brand, the vision, everything. And I'm sending you so much love and light and I will see you in the next one. Bye.